Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 11 of my Rugby League Live 3 West Tigers Career Mode, Coach Mode, Manager Mode, whatever I'm calling it. Now, in this episode, obviously, you can see take on the Penrith Panthers in the first game, and that first game is the only game of this episode, and that's due to a buy. It's either, you know, it's either the next round after this or the one before it. I know the last episode was also a buy round. It was just an epic game, so that's why the length of the episode was, you know, a lot longer than this one. Uh, but there is a little bit of signing news, I think, at the end. Just going over our 20 side, and there's a few people who've been suggesting some of these players, and I forget the name of the guy off the top of my head, but um, one of those guys that did actually find him in this side, so that's uh, interesting. And I see the Panthers side, I'm not sure if that's some under-20s guys they got through coming in their side, but there's a few players they didn't actually recognise, you know, I don't know if they're real players, maybe they're regen players, I'm not sure how the game actually goes in terms of regens, but we start off the game brilliantly, Curtis Sirian, and not renowned for a huge kicking game or anything, but he's actually been pretty strong for us in terms of kicks, although lately he's been a bit off, but uh, he starts it off with a 40-20, and that was, what a 40-20 it was, I know we had the win behind him, but... That was a great kick, and uh, I should not mention that the wet weather, it, you know, you can see it's playing its part right there. Aaron Woods comes up with a crucial tackle. I don't know who had the ball, but um, had to give away a penalty. Just needed to reset a line and that sort of stuff, and I don't mind giving away a penalty if it means, you know, like I said, we have a, a set line. Now, Aaron Woods retrieved the ball once again. He's doing a lot of work, Woods, but he ended up throwing the ball away, which is a bit shit. But Naguama, he grabbed it, and he won a penalty. I think it was Naguama anyways. Whoever it was won a penalty, and I believe there was a few penalties. I think I only showed two penalties there, but I think there was another one straight away from the the one that we got while we are on our own line, and then the one where Peter Wallace is sim bin. So, you think, even though the conditions are a bit shit, we have to take advantage uh, of the extra man, and we are going to do that. Get it straight out to the edges. Chris Lawrence gets in for his first try, and uh, Chris Lawrence has been a great player for us, and I know in real life he's not the greatest. He's playing in the forwards now in real life, but uh, on this game, he's been fantastic, and I rec uh, can't recommend him enough. Uh, you know, he's just very consistent. You know, Aaron Woods, what a start he's had to the game. He is tackled by Moylan uh, in the 40-meter mark, but... You know, he's just been in everything, absolutely everything. Winning penalties, saving, you know, tries, and, you know, just everything, pretty much. Can't actually score a try himself, which is a little bit disappointing. But we see Lewis Brown, which is a little bit disappointing to see Lewis Brown. I think it's Lewis Brown anyways, but he's actually listed as a center on this game. And, like, he rarely plays center. He's, he's, that's his, like, second position. So, there's a few positions on this game which I'm not really happy about. And, you know, I think that's one of them. He's more of a second row who can play either hooker or center. He's, like, he's pretty... You know, both of them are in second position, probably evenly. Now, it's 6-all, as we saw Bryce Cartwright went in and scored, and just pretty simple stuff. Just us uh, making dumb errors, losing the ball, and like I said, you know, the the weather, it plays its part, and apologies for my dog, uh, you know, um, he shook his head, and the collar made a noise, but, um, yeah, just our errors, just the weather, just doing too many stupid stuff, the offloads, trying to force the offloads, no, not even forcing the offloads, but just, you know, just... You don't need to offload in this sort of weather. They've got to put it down more times than not. But we're pretty lucky Cameron King ended up um, scoring a try just before half time. And the kick, it was waved away. It hit the post, which is a pretty, little bit disappointing that we couldn't kick the goal. So I think and he struck it pretty well, but um, it wasn't meant to be. And, you know, Panthers just staying in the game, but they make a very, very bad error to start the first, uh, second half, I should say. And, um, you know, you don't want to be starting off second half. Your very first set. You want to get a nice set underway, get a kick in, you know, if you can't score, you want to get a good kick in, and, you know, just try and, uh, you know, grind your way back into the game, and they just, they, I'm not going to say they've thrown the game, game away, but they, you know, they opened up well and truly for us to take advantage of, and at 16-6, I'm more than comfortable. You can see Manai Charrington, and he's come on, he's actually done a fantastic job for us off the bench, and I know we signed Jake Granville for next year, and it's a little bit disappointing in terms of, um, Charrington's done very well, and Cameron King, but, you know, I can't pass up a player of Granville's quality, so uh, that was the reason behind that. And so there we won a penalty, and the the, miss, the missed goal that we had in the uh, first half that hit the post, we decided to just take a shot from right in front, just extend the lead a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm really into taking the shots at goal if they're on offer, and uh, if you've seen, you know, plenty of episodes beforehand, you would already know that. But you see right here, Panthers you know, starting to mount a little bit of pressure. Is there a comeback on? Maybe. Maybe. They've had a lot of ball. They've actually defended really, really well. And we do pride ourselves on our defense. You see right here, we survive another set. Greece might end up with the ball. And you see Luke Brooks taking it to the edges. We get it to Thido. Gets it to Simona, to Naguama. Naguama takes it around Moylan. And Moylan is very quick. Moylan's actually really good in this game. Um, there's some players who are... I mean, obviously, Moylan's really good in, in real life, but there's a few players like Brett Stewart and that who are just rated so well in this game, just, you know, some of the best, which is a little bit weird, but, I mean, Moylan, obviously, a great player, so there's no debating that he's not a good player, it's just, 
the writing on this game is, you know, so good. Anyways, it was right in full time that we ended up scoring that try, and, uh, you know, it's just, I'm not, it wasn't a consolation try, but I, I suppose it was. It just blew out um, the lead to more than what it probably should have been. Uh, obviously, we were, you know, you can see by the completions, the sets, we were the better side by far, but uh, I don't know if we were that far better. Um, but yeah, that's that's just where the video is going to end, pretty much. Uh, Going to take a look at, you know, obviously this round stuff, and you can see there, Jack, Jack Buchanan actually out for 40 or 39 days, which, you know, that's a fair while, and he's like one of our, he's not like a key forward, I don't think, but he's one of the backups, so that was a little bit annoying, and uh, we're going to leave the video just taking a look at uh, some of these signings. Now, this is everything that I've signed from um, the under-20 side from the Tigers, and there's a few players that people have suggested, so... Um, shout out to people who are suggesting some of them and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT, face the page in the description below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.